Continuing with MLB round trip with a perfect game alongside Mike Fair and Darren Sutton here on MLB Network Radio. And really excited to be joined before he makes his way back to the beautiful state of Colorado by Mark Holzimer, the man who took over about a decade ago and is the, the leader of Slammers Baseball. They were down here playing in a, a very solid tournament leading into Jupiter. It was the PG Evo Shield Nationals, the upper class in the great state of Arizona. Mark, first of all, thank you for joining us. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me on. I will ask you right out of the gates, this is a perfect game radio show with major leagues, minor leagues, and, and of course, youth baseball as its emphasis. It makes it a lot of fun. Uh, describe your experience of, of playing in the, uh, the PG Evo Shield Nationals. Uh, you know, for us, we've been coming out here for three years. It's been a, a great tournament for us in the fall uh, to get out and, and get ready for um, some of the bigger tournaments that end, you know, at the end of the year. Um, to kind of gear us up for Jupiter, which, you know, for our kids, you know, to get to go to a tournament like that is, you know, it's unbelievable for those kids. And to the exposure and just the experience to be around, you know, the scouts and the type of players and the caliber of talent that's down there is is really special for our Colorado kids. Visit SlammersBaseball.com. Mark Holzemer joining us on the telephone. Uh, the perfect game experience certainly is a unique one, as you mentioned. There is high school baseball. There is travel baseball for all teams locally. And, and PG certainly has their hands in a lot of local tournaments now. Uh, but as, as a bigger picture, when you talk about coming to Arizona, when you talk about Jupiter, uh, I guess I ask you early on in this conversation, why align with perfect game? You know, for us in, in, in Colorado, um, we're always looking to get out of the state. And uh, we started going to Perfect Game events uh, probably eight years ago. It was our first time we were looking. And uh, we went to a Perfect Game event out in California. Uh, and then we found out about going to Georgia. So we ended up going to Georgia and playing in the, uh, you know, the tournaments they have out there at the um, East Cobb Complex. And so we've been going back ever since, and that has led us to other events and you know we were fortunate enough to get into you know be able to go to jupiter which you know is a huge huge thing for us and it's just led to other things i mean i started taking my current team that i have now that are seniors we started going out to georgia when they were 13 um so we took them to georgia when they were 13 14 15 16 and you know last year was their last year going to georgia 17 year olds and i have a group of 11 year olds now that are going to be 12 and i'm um, I'm going to start those guys going this year. We're going to go to a perfect game event. And I'm getting, we have 30, a little over 30 youth teams. And, uh, I'm going to get our coaches, already getting our coaches to go to the perfect game events now, you know, with, with the youth team, which is a huge thing for these guys to get into that exposure and getting used to playing in their events because they, they run first class events. More than a decade ago, Mark Holzmer took over Slammers Baseball in Colorado. Mark Holzmer joining us before he heads back to the Denver, Colorado area. They have a facility more than 22,000 square feet in Englewood, Colorado. I always like to ask, because for me, I had been resting after I had broadcasted full Major League season, so I never really went to Jupiter, as you called it, and everybody at the World Wood Bat Association Championship. So I just saw it for the first time three years ago. I spent my whole life around baseball with my father playing and such, and then I played a little bit. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. I'm about to attend my fourth. Uh, from your perspective, describe the combination of scouts, county fair, incredible baseball. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen it, Mark. If you haven't been, you know, I've had people that have gone to, you know, the Senior Fall Classic, and, and, and that's a good tournament. Um, and I've had people that have gone to other various tournaments, and I said, hey, listen, with all due respect, You've never been to an event like the one that they put on in Jupiter. I mean, you've never been there. I had a parent, actually, whose son uh, just signed with TCU. And the reason he signed with TCU, and I'm not just saying this, is because of Jupiter. And I had to talk him into going to Jupiter because he's like, ah, we've been to a lot of perfect game events. You know, they do a great job. But you know, you really think it's that big a deal. It's kind of the end of the fall. We're getting, you know, we're, we're kind of tired. It's been a long season. I said, you're crazy if you don't go. You have to go. And so this this particular person had been to a lot of events. We walked into the very first day, and he was like, oh, my gosh, this is unbelievable. Um, you know, with the golf carts, and sure enough, uh, uh, Kirk Sarlutes from TCU pulled up right behind the bullpen when his son was throwing and knew he was throwing and watched him throw and watched him throw a game, and uh, he committed to TCU. So the the amount of scouts and the amount of people that are there 
Um, if you get the word out about your players, it, it's it's unmatched. I mean, it's you have to see it to believe it. You know, there's pictures. People see the pictures with all those golf carts and the amount of guys. I mean, it's it's amazing. It is truly amazing to see. Describe, if you will, some of the standards you set for your players and their families with uh, with regard to participation with Slammers Baseball. You know, with us, you know, the big part of it is, you know, it's it's gotten expensive. You know, to go to these events and go to the right events, you know, we ask a commitment of the families. And it's gotten to the point now where it's almost, you know, they're going to play summer and fall. Most of the people are going to play summer and fall for us because they call out a season uh, in the spring when they play for the high schools, only 19 games. And, you know, Colorado is beautiful, but springtime in Colorado is rough. And so these kids, if they want to get out and play somewhere, you know, big, um, they got to get out of the state. So part of that is this exposure, and it's expensive. And the guidelines we set is, hey, this is going to be expensive. We're going to get out there and get your kid in the right tournaments in front of the right schools and the right coaches. And Perfect Game does a great job of that. I mean, their website, everything they do, if you're in a Perfect Game event, as you know, I mean, you get your player profile. Those kids can update that. The coaches go and search that because they know that if a kid goes to a Perfect Game event and he's throwing 87 and Perfect Game says he's throwing 87, they know that's legit. And for me, that's an invaluable thing because I can tell the coach, hey, go get on here and, and look at this kid, and, and they'll go off that. The parents know what they're getting into. Um, you know, we make sure the parents understand at this level, and hey, we, we don't want to listen to them coaching or any of that stuff. Um, we take care of the kids on the road. They stay with us. We take them in vans, hotel. We do everything. Kind of get them ready for that next level. I'm, I'm very confident with our guys that are with us now that have committed a lot of big schools when they go to school next year they're going to be ready to go because of the experience that they've had and, and you know what they've been through at some of these top caliber events mark holzman were joining us and mark did play folks at the next level very successfully more than a decade plus in the minor leagues parts of six seasons in the major leagues uh, and not just you and you talk about the these young men listening and their families listening it's billy martin out of texas with the yanks and diamondbacks and over in japan and clint zavaris these are all names that baseball fans are very familiar with um your staff one that can not only teach baseball but offer wisdom about how to handle yourself in the game well we're lucky you know we you know my partner uh clint zavaris he graduated in 85 from the same high school and um, you know, after playing together in high school and then doing the whole pro thing, when I came back, um, I got, I went to Japan. When I got back from Japan, I had one more year left that I played, but at the end of the, that year, I bought into Slammers and, you know, I went down there and I was doing the lessons and doing all that stuff. And, um, you know, it was something I wanted to do. And from that point on and where we're at now, I mean, the business has completely changed. But I gotta be honest with you, I was really lucky to have a job that I had before playing. And now I, I mean, I feel just as fortunate now to be able to teach these young kids, you know, what we've learned. And part of this is with these older kids now is teaching them the right way to act. Some of the mistakes they make now are different than stuff that you and I had to deal with. You know, you got to deal with social media. Now you got to deal with cell phones. There's all kinds of stuff that they have to deal with that we've had to adapt to, but teaching these young men how to act and how to prepare for a game and getting into routines and how to act on the field and, and all that stuff that, you know, we had to learn ourselves and we had to learn through older guys that taught us when we were playing either in college or professional baseball or even in the big leagues. You know, I mean, hopefully a lot of these guys get to get that chance, but you know, part of this is that whole process. And, you know, we were fortunate enough to have guys teach us and we're lucky enough now to pass that on to, to these guys. Former Major Leaguer Mark Holzemer joining us, Major League pitcher and uh, talking about slammers baseball based in Englewood, Colorado. All right, a lot of folks love listening to this show because they like to draft prospect and they like to look ahead to the college seasons and the 2016 draft. I'm telling you right now, one of my favorite players at the showcase, again, still learning, this is my first couple of years being around all three of these events in a year, uh, was Maverick Handley, a young man, a catcher. Uh, I know he was very close to being an All-American, and you could argue that he probably should have been an All-American in San Diego. He's headed to Stanford. Uh, extol his virtues because I enjoyed watching him catch. Well, you know, one thing about Mav, if you've never seen him, and that's what I talked to uh, Coach Unright at, at Stanford, I said there's only one gear for him. He plays the game hard. He plays the game the right way. Um, you know, unfortunately, Two weeks ago in a tournament back home, our second catcher, 
uh, got hit in the head, and he had a uh, he has a concussion, so he was not able to go with us last week in California. He was not able to come this weekend with us to the Evo Shield, and uh, I just said, "Hey, Matt, you're gonna have to catch every game." He goes, "I'm good, I'm ready to go." <laughs> so he's the kind of kid that you want to have back there as a catcher. I mean, uh, he's he's uh, you know 4.4 GPA, 31 ACT type kid, and you know he plays hard, um, defensive catch throw guy that can swing it. Um, you know, in the years having our business, he's the best player we've ever had come through our program. Um, you know, we've, we've been known for having pitchers, but from a standpoint of, uh, you know, having a, a position player, he, he's the guy. Like, not, we tell our young kids, say, come out and watch him, because uh, he definitely plays the game the right way. One of those pitchers you were talking about uh, who also still has a bat in his hand is, is, is Travis Marr. He is a Clemson recruit. Again, a name that we probably will hear called in the draft, but uh, if not, he goes to Clemson. Describe who Travis is as a player. Travis is a you know big strong kid and all he does is throw strikes. That's the big thing when I talked to the Clemson you know coaching staff and he had a bunch of schools that were after him. Um, but the thing that stands out that you know if you come watch Travis is he just pounds his own. He, he you're going to have to beat him. So he's you know he's an 86, 89 guy, touch 90 with good sink, um, and but just pounds his own. And and that's, that's from a pitching coach. You know the guy calls pitches like I do. You know, it makes it easy. I mean, you just know that he's not going to get in trouble. Um, and I think that's what they're going to find out of Clemson when he goes there. This is a guy that's going to go out and compete, and he's going to throw strikes. And, you know, they're going to have to beat him. He's not going to beat himself. In the Colorado area, if you are uh, at all serious about baseball, slammersbaseball.com. Mark Holzimer, a long professional career and uh, leading the charge with slammers, as he mentioned, along with Clint Zavaris. Uh, well, we have seen a lot of PG events before he was a manager when he was just coaching youth baseball like yourself and dealing with youth. Uh, and now we see him as a major league manager going through the grinds and the pressures. And that's Walt Weiss. And we've also seen, uh, you know, now son number two in Bo Weiss. Uh, Bo ranked 166 nationally. Uh, first of all, describe Walt Weiss the dad because I have, uh, I have good thoughts about him and, uh, and then who Bo is as a player. Um, you know, I've been lucky. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, we were out in Jupiter out of us four years ago when his son, uh, uh, Brody was out playing and he just came out to Jupiter. You know, he, he tries to be low key out there and, uh, all of a sudden all this stuff's going on back in Denver saying that, you know, he has a chance to, to be the next manager for the Rockies. And, and he, you know, was really low key about it. And then, uh, next thing I know, you know, he's, he's the manager of the Rockies. And the funny thing about Walt, Give you an idea. I mean, last uh, December we had a nice, you know, believe it or not, there was no snow. It was actually nice, probably 55 degrees. And I asked Wallace, I said, hey, Wallace, we're going to have an outdoor practice. We're going to have some guys come out. Can you teach some uh, some of my middle infill or some of the stuff you know? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many other major league managers are going to come out on a Sunday in December and go work with uh, some high school kids. But the wall was out there working with the guys, teaching the middle infillers, the shortstops, the second baseman you know, what he knows. And, and that's the kind of guy Walt is. I mean, he's first-class guy all around. Um, you know, he's a, a high school coach at Regis, and he just wants to help kids. I mean, he did a defensive camp for me for three years. Um, he would he would ask me if it was okay if he brought his son to the camp. That gives you any idea what kind of guy he is. I mean, he's first-class guy all the way around. Mark, thank you very much for taking time. Safe travels back to the Denver area. We really appreciate it. Ah, no problem. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks again. Mark Alzheimer joining us. Slammers Baseball out of Englewood, Colorado. We'll see him and his squad in Jupiter. Very excited. We'll continue. This is MLB Round Trip with Perfect Game on MLB Network Radio.